great to be back. You know, it's always uh, a great time to come back and see family, see friends, uh, see everybody that was with me, you know, growing up here. So it, it's really cool just to come back and be able to be with the kids and hang out. I guess this is the fourth year that's going on. Have you seen this camp grow and then also just Alcoa and this facilities here and all that? All yeah, that stuff? I mean, the, the, the city is continuing to grow. Uh, you know, we, we got a lot of great things going on. You know, the new high school looks amazing. Uh, a lot of new things going on around here. Uh, but the community, you know, they always come out and support. We have a lot of volunteers. Uh, we have a lot of kids that come out and just enjoy the day. And it, it seems, from what I've heard, uh, a lot of kids look forward to this day. I know even in, in the off season, the NFL off season can get kind of hectic and busy. Is it nice to just maybe come here and, and maybe take a breath a little bit? And, and <laughs> well, it's not really taking a breath. You know, I, I'm still you know on the run whenever I come back here. But it is nice to get back and nice to spend some time with family and friends. How is much it, time do you get here for something like that? Uh, I, I try to get back two or three times a year. You know, with, with the schedule and everything that I have going on, and it, it makes it a little difficult. But um, yeah, I try to get back as much as I can, and I'll be able to catch up with everybody. Is it kind of crazy? I mean, I guess it's been about, I think, eight years since you graduated, and mm -hmm. you know, their Alcoa is still doing the same thing they were doing when when you were here playing, you know, reeling off state titles and stuff like that. Is it crazy to to see that, even though it's been a while since you've played for Alcoa, that with their football program, you know, not a lot has changed. No, I mean, it's not it's not crazy at all when you got a coach like Coach Rankin uh, that, that's here uh, at the forefront of everything, leading these kids, leading these guys, uh, not only to be better players and, and to win championships, but also to become better men and teach them values of how to be a man. So, uh, you know, when you have somebody like that leading the program, it makes it easy to, to know that everything's in good hands and everything's going to be taken care of. It's your fourth year doing this. Are you going to switch anything up this year, kind of stick with what's been working? Uh, well, we're going to stick with what's been working. You know, uh, we, we still have the, the blueprint and the layout that we've, we've always had. Um, you know, last year we got a little bit of rain uh, to cool us off, and we're going to have a little bit of fun with the kids. We, we have the fire department coming over and help cool things off a little bit. Nice. And you said, you know, the kids are having fun, you're having fun. How important do you think this is for the kids to get, you know, the experience working under you know, someone that came through a system that they possibly could come through and, and have the success that you had? Uh, well, it, it's important, but I mean, at this age, it's all about just the kids having fun, and enjoying themselves. You know, we, we don't know who's going to be a pro athlete out there at this age. You know, it's such a it's such a rarity, uh, and, and you know, I was very fortunate to to be able to. Uh, but um, you know, it, it, it's not something of the norm. And uh, you know, the biggest point is just to make sure that we're teaching them teamwork and the value of uh, teamwork and the value of communication and, and cooperation at this young age, so they can they can carry those life skills on. Just for you and your craft, I guess. What's the what's the focus this offseason for you? Uh, just continuing to get back in shape and get ready for training camp. You know, it's, it's coming up fast. Uh, you know, I do two days this time of year, so uh, you know, being able to break away and come down here for a few days, uh, just uh, to spend some time with family and friends is nice. But uh, you know, football season comes around fast, so looking forward to it. What's it like coming back here? I mean, you said you come back here a couple of times, but to see the way the facilities here have grown, I mean go from turf field and the, the jumbotron, the weight room, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, just to see the way like a high school having that kind of stuff, what's that yeah, like? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. You know, uh, you know, fortunately, we, we've had the opportunity to do some of those things. You know, uh, you know with, with the success we've had, we've been able to bring a lot of new amenities here. And that's amazing, you know, for these kids to have that opportunity to be able to use some of these things uh, while they're here before they go on. So is the, the Aaron Rodgers chuck and pray officially now an, an integral part of the playbook? <laughs> No, not at all. You know, hopefully we won't have to use that too much in the future. Just, um, I mean, you've obviously had a, a lot of big uh, football plays over your career. Just what do you remember, uh, I guess, what stands out the most about your time here and um, just what you were able to accomplish at Alcoa? Uh, I, I think just, you know, the dynasty that I was able to be a part of. You know, I, I was able to play on some great teams uh, here at Alcoa. You know, um, we've had a lot of great players come through this program, uh, just being able to be a part of that, you know, is special. And, you know, uh, I think that was the, the blueprint and the, the groundwork that was laid, the foundation uh, for my football career, being able to come through a program like this and, and to learn so much.